this week um, we've had another um, batch of uh, files released by WikiLeaks, which confirms the extraordinary scale of surveillance by the CIA. And for the CIA, read the intelligence network globally, which, if you go deep enough, is the same network. I'll come to that. And some of us have been uh, writing for years and years and years, going way back, pointing out that what we're not being told is that Big Brother is not coming. Big Brother is here. It's just a case of how deeply we're going to allow ourselves to go in to that surveillance state. And one of the things I wrote about years ago was the fact that it is possible to um, record and indeed um, record not just in terms of a voice, but also visually through a smart TV, what people are doing and saying in their own front room. Oh, it's a conspiracy theory. Well, Samsung have had to admit that that's possible and is happening and put it in their um, their list of um, things they tell the customer now. But of course, this Vault 7 is about um, specifically targeting people by the CIA and, like I say, the network in general to um, keep surveillance on them in their own homes, which, of course, is what? Mark one of George Orwell's telly screens in his book 1984, where people were constantly kept under surveillance uh, in their own in their own homes. And what this um, this WikiLeaks um, stash, which is said to be about nine thousand files, but only 1% of what they have to release. It's talking about the fact that the CIA um, have been um, operating a system where they can access the uh, voice um, recordings uh, uh, of people through their uh, smart TVs. And, you know, here's a question which I've not heard asked this week, certainly not in the mainstream, most of whom have pushed this aside. Oh, it's not really significant. What the hell are we doing having microphones and cameras built into smart televisions? Why are they there? What's the point? The point is that they're there so the CIA can do what has now been confirmed. See, what's happening is a whole computer-based system of communication is being created. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's the latest thing. It's great, isn't it? And they sell them in that mode and promote them like that. Oh, it's technology great. Have you seen the latest? But all around us is being built behind that cover a global control system to control not only um, the fact that they can see what we're doing and saying all the time, but also, ultimately, as I describe in detail in my books, to get inside our heads and manipulate our very thoughts. And that's not over the rainbow sometime, never. That's happening now as well. Another case of just a, a matter of how deeply we're going to go into this. So we also see in this Vault 7 batch that the CIA um, have been uh, working on hacking in 
to the computer systems of cars so they can make them crash and have a, quote, virtually undetectable means of assassination. Now, this puts in a new light the death of an investigative journalist in 2013 called Michael Hastings in Los Angeles, who um, contacted WikiLeaks on the day that he died, told others that he was onto a big story and was going to have to um, go off the radar for a bit, and said that he was under an FBI investigation. What then happened, inexplicably, or maybe not, is that his car went completely out of control and at top speed went through a built-up area and crashed, leaving virtually nothing of him left. And as one intelligence insider said at the time, what happened was consistent with a cyber hack. Now we know, not that we didn't before, but now it's confirmed that that's what the CIA has been into. And then we ask this question. If they can hack into car computer systems as they are now, what will they be able to do with smart cars? driverless smart cars driven by computer. They will be able to do anything they bloody like. And here's another question. Why do we need driverless cars? Which the plan is to make them compulsory eventually. I have no doubt about that. Why do we need driverless cars? Why do we need cameras? and microphones in televisions. Hello? Why is this happening? Because around us is being built this technological prison cell to control and manipulate on all levels. The, the point that I've been making, one of endless points I've been making all these decades is that we shouldn't get caught in the focus and my goodness me are we now or what on here today gone tomorrow politicians yes we should point out where we disagree with them we should point out where they're not telling the truth point out the consequences they're not telling us about what they're doing But let no one surely believe anymore that they're here today, gone tomorrow politicians, whether Bush, Obama, Trump, any of them, are where the power is. Because there is a network, like a spider's web, as I've said many times, and the spider in the center dictates to the web. And the web is always there and representatives of the web are always there. Change the president, change the prime minister, change the party in government, doesn't matter. They're always there. And so um, intelligence agencies, they're always there. Trump comes in, CIA, uh, National Security Agency, always there, just carries on as normal. The military are always there. They have um, many uh, deep underground bases um, called DUMS, deep underground military bases, across America and other countries around the world. Um, Pine Gap, for instance, in Australia. There's so many of them. When the presidents come in, or the prime ministers, do they know what's going on in these underground bases? No. You know, they're not even allowed to know. Because there is a force that is always there. 
behind the military, behind the intelligence agencies. So while we're talking about the CIA, the CIA is part of a global network that includes German intelligence, Mossad, Israeli intelligence, British intelligence, all of them. And this is why um, a German journalist um, could uh, reveal that he was being given um, stories to publish under his own name in major uh, major German newspaper by the CIA. Because, you know, people say, um, oh, well, you know, what about German intelligence? Um, why weren't they protecting um, Chancellor Merkel from having a phone hack, for instance, by the Amer American uh, intelligence community? The answer is because if you go deep enough, German intelligence is the CIA. CIA is Mossad. Mossad and the CIA and German intelligence are British intelligence, if you go deep enough. Most of the operatives will have no idea through compartmentalization. You need to know. But at the core, they're all playing for the same team. Uh, which brings me to this. One of the areas that um, has been spoken about this week is the fact that the CIA um, are using uh, what they call backdoors to hack in to computer systems, hack into um, uh, internet surveillance, hack into smartphones and tablets and all these other things they have. And it's like, Oh, they found uh, back doors to these things and they haven't told the um, corporations uh, about the, the, the fact that they can be hacked, which is supposed to be their, their job. And it's presented as if the CIA and the corporations, the Internet giant corporations, are um, apart from each other. Or you're doing that to them and they don't know. Please. This web includes the Internet giants. They know it's going on. The back doors are left there to allow it to go on. That's why we have smart TVs with cameras and bloody microphones. Because of uh, um, compartmentalization of everything, including the Internet companies, and, and the CIA, etc. most of the employees will not know that at, at a deep level they're all connected. 